Do you know how scientists study things? They make use of what we call process skills. Process skills are different ways on how to study objects. Today, we are going to learn one process skill. I have here an object. If I ask you to observe the object, what will you do? What does observing mean? Observing means describing things using the senses. What are our senses? Let us recall. We use our eyes to see, our skin to touch and feel, our nose to smell, our ears to hear, and our tongue to taste. Now let's start observing the object using our eyes. We see that the object is brown. We can also see that the object is shiny and its color is silver. Now let's use our skin to touch and feel. I can feel that the object is smooth. And when I press the object, I feel that it is hard. Now let's use our sense of smell. Mm. I think it's made of metal, therefore it has a metallic smell. Now let's use our ears. Do you hear something from the object? No, therefore it has no sound. But if I tap the object, it produces sound. So therefore, when the object is hit with another object, it produces sound. How about our tongue? Do you think it's safe to taste the object? No. Therefore, there are some things that cannot be observed using the sense of taste. Now we have a lot of observations. The object is round, shiny, and silver. It is also smooth and hard and has a metallic smell. It doesn't have any sound, but when you hit it with another object, it has sound. And we didn't use our sense of taste. Now, what we just did is what we call observing. And it is a process skill, which scientists use to study objects. Hang in there. Michael has lovely pets at home. These are his cats. Aren't these cats a joy to watch? These are all cats, but there are characteristics that make them different. One is the color of their hair covering. Some of these cats have white hair. Some have brown hair. Others have black hair. We can use color as a characteristic to classify objects. Classification is a science skill. This means we group or order objects based on their similarities and differences. Another characteristic that we can use to classify objects is by the number of legs that they have. Just like these animals. Some animals have two legs. But other animals have four legs. Plants can be classified according to whether they produce flowers or not. Some plants are flowering plants, but others are non-flowering plants.